Hey, this is Rich from HouseBrands.com. My brother Dave and I renovate houses along with Dave's son Caleb. And today we're going to review the Toro Time Cutter SS5000 Zero Turn Riding Mower. So you might be wondering why are we telling you about a riding mower at this time of the year? Because now it's August and mowing season is coming to a close. But actually, the reason we're telling you about this right now is because when we purchased this mower, we got quite a deal because it was the end of the season. And so hopefully you'll be able to find a good deal too. I think this mower was listed at $3,200 and we were able to get it for $400 off. So we got it for $2,800. And for us, that's, that's a great savings and we couldn't wait to use it the following spring. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. Right, goats? All right, to start this mower, we must have the handles to the outside position. Once the mower started, we'll bring the handles in this way, and this will allow us to engage the engine. If you push them both together, you'll go in a straight line forward. If you pull toward yourself, you'll go in a straight line backward. You can also go left by pushing just this one forward, and you can go right by just pushing this one forward. If you've never driven a mower that has handles, when you first get on it and initially use it, there is a little bit of an adjustment period if you're used to using a steering wheel. You can make pretty sudden movements by moving one of these handles you know, forward and the other one not. And so it's a good idea just to practice in an open field for a while until you get the hang of it. It'll just take a short while and then you'll get it. But anyway, so that's forward. Pull it toward yourself to go in reverse. If you need to stop, all you gotta do is pull the handles apart and the mower will stop moving. So if you don't remember anything else, just remember this one idea. Pull apart, now you're gonna stop. All right, so in order to start this mower, these handles have to be apart. That's number one. We have to have the PTO not engaged, which means we're gonna have this yellow button pushed all the way down. When we pull it up, that engages the mower blade. So rabbit is at the top and that's the fastest speed and turtle's at the bottom, so we're gonna put it about in the middle, but just a little bit toward the turtle, just to start it. Once the engine starts, we'll throttle up and we'll start moving. We have to have the choke on. There's this little knob and you pull it up and that engages the choke. And then once we get started, we will turn the choke back off and we'll throttle up. So here we go. That's, those are all the main parts to getting the mower started. Now we'll go out into the field, we'll do some mowing. And so the only additional thing I'm gonna do is when I'm ready to start mowing, I will pull this yellow knob up and that's gonna engage the blades and then we can start mowing. This is the cut we're getting out of it and you know we have really tall grass around here so I just I have it on the top setting it's it's mowing at around four and a half inches okay so this has what's called the smart speed control system and it's got basically three different speeds this is the lowest speed and it's trim and the top speed there is four miles an hour and just by going slower you can get a really nice uh, close trim and a nice finish. And then the tow is like a medium speed, that's around five miles an hour, and then the mow is seven miles an hour, so it's real easy to switch the speeds. This is the blade adjustment, and it goes in half inch increments from one and a half up to four and a half. All right, the other feature we wanted to point out is this, this padded seat. First off, it's really comfortable because there's a real nice pad there. And then the other great thing is this back support. It's 18 inches tall. So when you're doing a lot of mowing, it's really wonderful to have that back support because it's really comfortable. Kind of cool thing. 
with the time cutter here, this is the mowing deck and it's 50 inches. And so there, where Claire is checking things out, this is actually a clear out port and you can attach a hose right there and it'll spray water down in and clean out this side of the deck. And then on the other side, there's also a port here. So you can get the deck nice and clean. Checking it out, this is the back here. You put the oil in right there. The seat flips forward and underneath the seat is where the battery is. This side here is the gas tank and it just takes regular unleaded gasoline. It's a nice big tank, three gallons. So you're mowing for quite a while before you need to refill. They give a little cup holder right there. All right, so I had every intent to give the time cutter a stellar review. And wouldn't you know it, the day before I go to edit all this footage, we can't start the time cutter. And it was the strangest thing. We've, we've had this time cutter for a couple of years and we haven't had any kind of problems like that before. So anyway, we started looking around at it. We noticed there was a bit of a leak back here, a gasket leak. You can see there getting some oil that's coming out and we don't know if we don't know exactly if that had anything to do with the reason it wouldn't start i mean the spark plugs are close by so don't know if there was some interference there but anyway just wanted to let you know that there could be some maintenance issues with the time cutter but then again there could be maintenance issues with any engine and we are probably giving the time, this particular time cutter quite, quite a workout because the terrain on our farm is not even and we tend to go pretty fast on the time cutter. So it's, it's definitely getting a workout. And honestly, we might be a little bit uh, too tough on it. We'll talk about some of the cons and really the only cons that we have for this mower is that there are some maintenance issues, uh, a drive belt, slipped the other day and we had to have that repaired and the battery recently died so this is just our second season of using this mower so you know that's seems like a bit of a short life it was the factory battery and we had to replace it and in addition we've had a flat tire but that could be because we've got we're, we're doing construction all over this farm and who knows maybe we ran over a nail or a screw or something Nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, as far as pros go, well, there's many. First off, it's really easy to use. Once you get used to using handles instead of a steering wheel, you can just pretty much fly around wherever you need to go. Also, it's really maneuverable, and that's quite helpful for us out at this farm. We have a lot of tight areas that we need to get in and out of, and we're trimming around Christmas trees and all kinds of different areas. And so the zero turn mower is absolutely perfect for getting it in and out of these close, difficult areas to mow. Another pro is that it's inexpensive. And you, you're saying, oh wait, this is listed at $3,200. How can you say that's inexpensive? So I should say relatively inexpensive. So this mower is, you know, I would call it on the cusp of being a professional mower. Like if you were starting a mowing business, you could definitely buy this and just have this be your main mower because it goes so fast and you can get a lot of work done quickly. So when we're looking at pro mowers, those are like six, $7,000. So I would much rather spend, you know, around 3,000 and have a mower that'll do the job and we can save that money and use it somewhere else. So compared to the other pro models, it, it is inexpensive, it's about half the cost. Probably the best feature about it is it's just flat out fun. <laughs> I mean, the thing is so fast. It's top speed is seven miles an hour and maybe you're thinking, hey, that doesn't sound all that fast. But honestly, when you're on it and you are going the top speed, especially over land like we have, that is a bit uneven. Man, you're, <laughs> you're sometimes taking air <laughs> and it's so much fun. It's it's actually like reminds you of being a kid and you know driving a go kart around. And when we first got the mower, I would sometimes just drive it around the land. I wasn't even mowing, but I was just enjoying it. So anyway, this mower is really quite a lot of fun to drive. 
All right, well, there's our review of the Toro Time Cutter. We absolutely love it. And if you got anything out of the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out our channel and we appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thank you very much for viewing and we'll see you in this video.